Equipping Ukraine to defend itself is a direct investment in America's own national security, our national security. As brave Ukrainians degrade the Russian military on the front lines, a major threat to Western security and economic prosperity gets weaker. In the meantime, <coughs> our own defense capabilities are actually getting stronger. A large part of the security assistance appropriated for Ukraine actually funds the production of new cutting-edge capabilities for the U.S. military and supports good-paying jobs for skilled American workers right here at home. Unfortunately, it is the administration whose policies have been slow and halting. Since the beginning of Russia's escalation, the Biden administration has lagged several steps behind the pace of relevance in, develop in de delivering decisive aid to Ukraine. Every approval of new assistance has required agonizing deliberations and prodding from congressional Republicans and Democrats alike. This was the case with the Stinger and Javelin systems the Ukrainians needed to drive back Russian convoys and Polish fighter jets that stood waiting on the tarmac with the HIMARS and Harpoons and Patriot systems they needed to put the invaders on, the back, on their back foot, and the Abrams tanks they needed to support a counteroffensive. And now, with the cluster munitions, longer range fires, and fourth generation fighter jets our friends need to actually turn the tide. <coughs> At every single mile marker, every one, the Biden administration has dithered, dithered unnecessarily. It's time for the president to get serious about victory and invest in American strength. <laughs>